No limit mo. Back at it with another video, man. We're here watching the trial of the most dangerous rap era, cancel culture. This is season two, episode two. I have not watched any episodes, but this video was recommended to me. So I was like, man, let me make a reaction out of it. It's probably hilarious. So I mean it's 41 minutes. We're gonna watch 21 minutes and then it's gonna be a two-part video. Every day you hear about, or every other day, man, another rapper shot dead. Another, like, it's gotta be right now, gotta be, current time period gotta be the most dangerous rapper here, bro. You know, the old head's gonna be like, oh, 19, you didn't even know how the 1990s were, sir. You didn't even know how Tupac, yeah, okay, we get it, bro. The views expressed on cancel court are silenced. Cancel court. In this episode, the trial of the most dangerous rap Let me know if I should watch Smalls wrote a song and his lyrics said, you look so good, I suck on your daddy's Nobody thought to ask that girl's father how he felt about what Biggie Smalls. I just seen a video on this, like, did Biggie really say that, bro? I seen someone make like a like a, a Instagram video, like a like a funny like skit or something like that about it. Like Biggie really said that? I'll put it up to show y'all. Should I admit my first thoughts was a trick? You look so good, huh? I suck on your daddy's dick. Yeah. I never felt that way in my life. Met you. Nobody thought to ask that girl's father how he fuck. felt about what Biggie said. <laughs> and now let's go to the courtroom. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I would just like to thank you for your patience. We put a call in to our AC unit. It is hot as hell in here. I'm suffering like the rest of y'all, so please be mindful that we are in here suffering together today <laughs> for the sake of the culture. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. We are clear. Thank sir. you. You look like Judge Mathis. Sir, do you want to be crying out of this courtroom already <laughs> and held in contempt? <laughs> hey, man, are you a crackhead? Listen, Mr. Well, this is gonna be easy. Let me get to my intro. No, just, no disrespect. I love all your movies. Your TV show, Hanging with Mr. Cooper. <laughs> really, nigga? <laughs> Mr. Cooper? You can say nigga in court? Oh, that's. Yeah. Yeah. don't even have AC. You don't think we can say nigga? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> order, Mr. Cloud. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The ghetto court. We have Mr. Patrick Cloud and his co counsel, newcomer Mr. Moneybag Mafia, representing today's era. Today's Mr. era. Moneybag Gotta be the Mafia. scariest. The da most Mr. dangerous Moneybag era, bro. I could be, you know. Families don't usually work off the first. Ain't no telling. Why you show up with no clothes on? Nigga, you're naked in here. Bro. <laughs> you do have an interesting outfit on, both of you. Mm -hmm. What is the inspiration? Them nigga came dressed like the era they representing up in here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, velour suit in court, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the move. Okay, Mr. Cloud, welcome back. Thank you. Last time you was here is about to be some Dragon Ball Z shit with you clashing with Mr. Teddy Ray. And the fact is, oh, settle, settle, settle. Y'all ain't taking Lil Wayne's black card. I grew up on it. I grew up on it. <laughs> Lil Wayne's black card. I'm just playing with y'all. I'm just playing with you guys. I'm just showing you guys the passion of a Lil Wayne fan. But I'll tell you this. You are not allowed to touch any guns. You are not allowed to be within five feet of our beautiful bailiff, Miss Ario J. Thank you oh, for she being went here. Back if you choose to jump stupid today, I will have your ass out of here so fast you won't be able to say Pikachu. Are we clear? Damn! Damn! Yes. Yes. Are we clear, Mr. Cloud? Yes, sir. I also noticed that the bailiff doesn't have a uh, socks. Shut the hell up. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. So, I'm gonna stay away. And she'll whoop your ass too. So you keep your ass in that seat. Do you understand yes. me? Yes, sir. Thank you. Hey, Judge, they look like they got on the same outfit. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gucci Daddy. Patrick, Patrick might put his ass in the air and let you touch it. <laughs> now, I'd like to welcome two newcomers to the court, Mr. Craig Smith and his co-counsel, Mr. Boo Capone, who will be representing the 90s era. Mr. Capone, where did the name Boo Capone come from? Why do they call you Boo? Boo. <laughs> well, uh, Boo. You know, Boo means blessed, uh, open, and optimistic. Mm -hmm. Capone was just on the gangster side. So when you put that together, you're an optimistic gangster. Boo is not an acronym. I just want to... That out there. Uh, 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 uh. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Me all. Thank you, Mr. Capone. You know, I hear that both of you were uh, some rappers back in the day. Uh, what happened? How did you end up in my courtroom? Niggas started clown dancing, and I wasn't with that. <laughs> 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 I'm 
I'm a hip hop guy. I'm a lyricist, you know. And uh, well, once once it became uh, feminized, that part, <laughs> feminized, like feminine. I'm from the number one crew in the area. You did? What crew is that? Westside Connect Gang. Bing, bing, bang. Bing, bing, bang. Okay, okay, okay. We're bing, bing, bang. Talk about some <laughs> rap bang, careers bang, and bootleg bang, bang, bang. Let's continue. Bang. Both sides will have two minutes for opening statements. Next, you will present factual evidence to the jury. We will end with two minutes of closing arguments. Once all evidence is presented, the jury appears without bias will decide the fate of which era is the most dangerous era in hip hop. So who, what now, era are they? Or is it the 90s with a uh, clear 90s. and decisive decision? We will begin with the now era of hip hop. Mr. Cloud, please proceed with your opening statement. This clearly isn't a high profile case. It's musty as hell in this courtroom. Uh, I'd like to open up by saying hello to the jury. How you guys hey, doing? Um, it is very clearly more dangerous now than it is in the 90s. Um, I say this all the time. There are two jobs out right now that can get you killed, and that is rapper and um, drive through employee. Niggas is getting shot over ranch. Was that happening in the 90s, huh? Was niggas getting shot over ranch? It was mustard. Yeah, it was <laughs> mustard. What did we have now that we're going to be talking about? This <laughs> nigga said it was Social mustard. Social media. Hello. Okay? Social media gives you three things with rappers access, information, and instigation, all these keyboard Twitter gangsters, all right? What weapons were y'all even using in the 90s? Catapults, huh? I object. <laughs> Slingshots. What, what kind of weak ass objection was that? <laughs> Use your chest. You know what I'm saying? It was very, 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 very clearly a safe space back then, because you guys didn't, you guys couldn't even follow who you were trying to kill. What were white people doing to keep up with the beef? Waiting for magazines, subscriptions? <laughs> Waiting for King Magazine? No, we had a pigeon with a, a note on it. We're talking about the, the 1990s, not the 1890s, nigga. <laughs> you was doing all that homing pigeon shit. <laughs> yeah, boy. With that said, <laughs> we're going to be talking about social media. We're going to be talking about Why other things ass. violence that's killing these people, like drugs. Mm. And we're mm. also going to be talking about numbers, straight up numbers. And just out of respect, we're not going to be saying anybody by name. We're not going to be trying to make light of any of these deaths. We're just going to be talking about the statistics and how people can die easier than the 90s. Thank you very much. Take time. Thank you. Bullshit. Thank you, Mr. Patrick Cloud. <laughs> Mr. Craig Smith, please begin with the opening statement, sir. Get up, Craig. Get up. That snowfall ass haircut. Nigga, <laughs> 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 <It could> try. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and people of this esteemed courtroom, today I want to talk about intent, purpose. I want to prove to you that 90s rap was far more dangerous than this pansy hip hop we have now. <laughs> pansy. Yeah. I'm going to start with a little bit of history. I got a cousin. He, he was born sick. He has an ailment. Very rare disease. He can't, he can't shit without coming. <laughs> he can't oh, shit without shit. coming. You go to the bathroom, it sounds like a good time and a bad time at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be insane. Oh, he didn't Lord. choose this lifestyle. It was given to him by God. God, God, God. The shit this is to do. And he's just dealing with the circumstances that were given to him. 90s rap <laughs> wasn't shitting and coming at the same time. Hey. It was intent. When 90s rappers were being gangster, they didn't have a, a they didn't have nobody to follow. There was no model. This was real street niggas stepping off the street and taking their lifestyle and putting it on wax. There was nobody that they could look up to. Everything they did was on their own intent. Shots. No influence. Young Thug is trying to be like Tupac. No. Man, these rappers are mimicking Tupac, Biggie, DMX, Jay-Z, who all intended to be gangsters. They didn't know no other lifestyle. A man that has intent is always more dangerous than a man that's mimicking a man with intent. So today I plan on proving, Your Honor, that intent makes you more dangerous. You got a point, bro. Than being a copycat. That's my he got a point. The trial of the nigga who cut Craig's hair when cancer court returns. <laughs> the 90s era. 
They are adult things. Ain't that right, Boo Capone? Ah. <laughs> we're just a little lean. We're leaning a little bit. We're leaning. We're leaning Y'all, I just want to start this off by saying Boo Capone is too old to have cradle cap. Both of them niggas ain't got no sideburns. It's weird. It's weird. It must be a Cali thing. The 90s era. Let's talk about Tupac. Since that was a, was that gangster to you? He shot at the police. Shot at the police. He damn sure did. Bro, look at the suburbs. Wait, hold on. Just order, the you order, have order in the court. On what ground this is your objection, sir? You know how gangster it is to Did be my camera just... told nigga for a long time? Not that gangster. Yeah. Well, circumstances are shit. Right, <laughs> Tupac with the Juilliard. Live and die in LA. He's from New York. <laughs> he been lying to y'all. Huh? The 90s era. Hip hop will make you jump, jump. The Mac Daddy make you jump, jump. Today they jump into conclusions. There you go. <laughs> Preach. <laughs> Big and small. <laughs> Was he gangster? Was the notorious B.I.G. gangster? Court, I have you know today, Big and Smalls wrote a song and his lyrics said, you look so good, I suck on your daddy's dick. Crazy exchange. Nobody thought to ask that girl's father how he felt about what Big and Smalls said. <laughs> Right? Like, that nigga's like, yo. Was that gangster? That was definitely not gangster. <laughs> it is in prison. <laughs> See, back then, I, I get that. Nigga said it is in prison. You know why? Because they didn't want nobody to know the dirt that they was doing. Mm -hmm. They didn't want you to know who they killed, who they shot. These days, the young niggas want you to know. A rapper got killed last week when the police came and picked him up. The nigga who shot him left his business card on top of him. That's stupid. <laughs> That's not gangster. That's He's an exactly. Stupid. Being stupid is more gangster. <laughs> <laughs> I rest, Your Honor. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Moneybag. That, 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 now, he got a point as well, man. Point. Who y'all think? I still got nine. Or not nine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Smith, one more outburst. <laughs> Mr. Hey, you ain't supposed to have your ass out in the suit jacket on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Indecent exposure, huh? Mr. Bukampong, please step forward and present your evidence, sir. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Judge. Hey, how y'all doing? Heckling Jekyll. Jesus. We love you, Judge. Thank you. Ronnie Cochran, is it? No. Oh. <laughs> Johnny, uh, nephew. Listen, man, I'm finna prove with facts, dates, History that the 90s, the grimy 90s, what did they call y'all? I'll wait. He's, he, he embarked on something called stupidity. Being dangerous and stupid <laughs> is two different things. Now, listen, listen, I taught Pac how to do this. <laughs> Tell that story. Tell that story. The Y2C. Pac was gangster. Mm. They, they got this unarmed African American, these off duty police officers. Stole guns. He stole the guns. They was out killing people, black people. Tupac didn't know this person. He just drove by. They drove by. And Tupac jumped out the car and got the busting. Didn't know that got the police. Bussing. That's the nineties. Right now, you niggas would have tried to pull his pants down and suck his dick. I, was, <laughs> I don't know. Your Honor, I object. Who is a rapper that Pause. died in the nineties? <laughs> <laughs> <Like, listen. laughs> And see, the, the reason, and I'm glad you put that up. I was there in the garden. Objection. I was from the number one school in the area. <laughs> West Side Connect got me. Bing, bing, bang. 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 I can dance in the water and not get whacked. Uh, see, when we was out there, uh, I was gang what? banging and doing stuff. Passion, you was in an all boys uh, a, a dormitory. <laughs> <laughs> the 90s, let me tell you something, we had a riot. Y'all didn't have no riot. We had a riot in 92. We called it an uprise. The music did it. We are, it was more days. We said, fuck the police. You niggas say Laffy Taffy. <laughs> <laughs> we, we lived, you know, so we lived our thing, but guess what? Niggas <laughs> said Laffy Taffy. Because this air is stupid. I'm I will like, say this. This era is more. Right now. I'm on three, five, this, six. Yeah, this era is more stupid. Clearly more stupid, which can actually be more dangerous because you got niggas that. Like, how Pac died, man. Niggas, young jits that don't give a fuck.
that'll kill you for your chain, bro. Like, it's more dangerous and stupid at the same time, bro. That <laughs> nigga's just... Block 11, I got a red shirt on. Come kill me. Because y'all ain't dangerous. Y'all want to be famous. I was born on 99, though, so I feel like I can't even speak on 90s. I don't even know what the fuck I like. I've listened to songs of it, but I can't really, like, know what, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could specifically know what's going on. I grew up in this, you know what I'm saying? This time. Lil Wayne, Lil Booty, Lil, Lil Doobie, Lil, Lil Booty? Uh, nigga said Lil Booty. I don't know the Littles. Lil, Lil Booty. Overdose, Lil this, Lil that. Now it's the baby. Nigga said Lil now Overdose. Lil <laughs> baby, infant baby, baby baby, Lil baby. Infant baby. <laughs> Somebody, baby. <laughs> baby, would you have MC, we DJ? Thank well, you. Yeah. Uh, Objection. Sir, from home. Thank, Thank you. you for your evidence. You may take a seat. He Thank forgot you. where he was. Boo Capone was born to be a public defender. Cancel court. We'll be right back. Father, mm -hmm. do you have any rebuttals to what you heard? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm glad you asked, Sir Judge. <clears throat> so. 90s, what did I just hear? Some, some weird things were said, East Coast versus West Coast. Let's talk about, I don't know, numbers. Huh, I get it. There was some crazy stuff going on in the 90s. 25 rappers were murdered this year. Notable rappers, quote unquote notable, this is just from a website, that died in the 90s. About 12. If we wanna stick to a decade, let's take the 2010s. About 21 rappers, not to mention all of the rappers that were just about to blow up. Let's go back to, I don't know, Chicago. Mm. A 16 year old kid starts rapping, changes the whole face Little of Jojo? music. Oh. This Chief rapper Keith. went by the name of Chief Keith. Chief Keith. Started drill music, all right? Now we have an era of the most realest rap niggas I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> because you gotta think, in the 90s, you, these rappers were just rapping what they big homies were doing. The dudes in the shadows, the real killers, the real drug dealers. Now you got niggas in Jacksonville, niggas in Atlanta. They are <laughs> rapping literally what they just did outside. <laughs> niggas will kill somebody and then rap about it, talking about who they did it, when they did it, you know, the date. How they the did people, it, <laughs> literally. What they were wearing. You're, there's nothing on these papers that you guys are siphling through. Y'all got nothing. <laughs> Social media, niggas are dying over Twitter, over Instagram lives, over just showing what story they at. Social media gives you full access to a rapper. <laughs> Duh, this generation in is the fucked. 90s, you didn't have that. And you also had a bunch of rappers that were just Good rapping God. what their homies were doing. Because, I'm, I'll, give it, I'll give it to you guys, it was, they were moving a little smarter. But now you got rappers that will kill somebody, run from the police, and drop a song called The Race. <laughs> Objection, Your okay. Honor. That's my point. That's not dangerous. That's, That's stupid. stupid. That's facts. The point is, which one was more dangerous? Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter if you're in a stupid situation. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter if you're being smart. What's I more agree. dangerous? It's dangerously stupid. Dangerously stupid. <laughs> we forget the violence. Forget the violence, because violence is hard to, to copy. If you if you're not from the streets like that, you can't just hear young thug talk about killing somebody and go out and do it, right? But what about the stuff that is copyable? Pills. Lean, you got these niggas shitting on themselves. People don't tell you that. <laughs> Lean makes you boo boo on yourself. For these real? rappers don't talk about that side of things, all. do they? Mr. Cloud, is this a personal experience? Lean make you yeah. shit on yourself, bro. I've never done lean. Mm -hmm. um, Molly, I'm just sleeping. Yeah. Nothing really made me shit on myself. You know what I mean? But I don't be popping pills like that. I don't be doing the lean. It's dangerous. You got rappers dying of liver failure. Mm. <laughs> liver failure. Mm. At 21. Two, you, two cups away. I see the I see the gut. That's a baby elephant. You want to hold his trunk? <laughs> what? what? Not a sexual assault. <laughs> not a gut. It's not a what? Sexual. It's it's a a storm. Storm. That sounded wrong. I ain't gonna lie to you. Mr. Capone, have a seat. One more outburst. My bad. I'm that sorry, man. That ass suit. You know what I'm saying? Man, let's pause it at that. Catch me for part two. Peace.